Hi, this is Jenny from Woodman Controls. We've talked about reports, but what happens when the information you want to report isn't collecting trends, or it's collecting trends in a way that just isn't helpful? What you want to tweak is called the history extension. Now the first time through it might seem a little complicated, but after you do a couple, I promise it's, it's not that hard. First thing you have to do on your graphics is go to your advanced configuration and sometimes there's more than one pick the right one you're going to want to open your palette and then in your config space here um, for our example let's say we want to add a history extension on a backnet object um, this school has most of its communication over BACnet. Let's pick. This is our chilled water system. There's a lot of points to play with in here. Points. So then I did that a little quick, but all this was this chilled water system. This is our BACnet device. We've gone into the points of this BACnet device. And first I will show you what a history extension in place looks like. This is a tag. This is our effective temperature set point. You scroll down and it has a numeric interval, which is saying it will take a history of the value at certain intervals. You can drill down further into this history extension to see things like its status. Uh, sometimes there can be faults and fault causes. Whether or not it's enabled, um, active period history naming. Um, if it's a standard Woodman history, we like to put this parent.name business in here. And all this is is script that will display the point name and the controller name. Um, some more of the configuration about how often it trends. The interval is here, but you can drill into this history config to um, increase how many records it's taking or decrease how many records, changing full policy. That's what it looks like in place. All of that is part of this history extension. Now let's say there was a point you wanted to put on reports or on a graph on a page somewhere and it just wasn't collecting histories. This outside air temperature, we're not, we don't have a history on it. Come over to your palette, open up the history, open up history extensions. You have all these to choose from. Numeric interval, I just described, it'll take a value at intervals. Numeric change of value, this will take a history when the value changes. Boolean interval at a certain time interval, it'll take a history. Boolean change of value, it will take a history when that point changes value, so on and so forth. You can tell what type you need. If you look next to the tag that you want to put a history on, it'll have a little circle. This one is a numeric. I'll show you another one real quick so you can see the difference. Here's our Booleans. It's green with a B enumerated, gold with an E. We don't do a lot of strings. I forget what that one is. All right, back to our outside air temperature. We want the numeric interval, and this is just a click and a drag, a left click. Drag it on top of the point. We want the history on. You can change the name if you want. We usually leave them as numeric interval to make it easier to find them if we ever need to do a mass history action. If we ever need to do a mass history action, it's, it's hard to explain. Anyways, we, leave, we usually leave it as numeric interval. All right, so now we've dragged it on, and this is just like the last one I showed you. Um, here's right now the history name is just the point name. If you'd like to make it like the other histories, you're just going to come in here parent dot parent dot. 
Oh, good grief. Parent. Dot name. Uh, comma. Comma space. Parent. Dot name. Um, we'll leave the config as it is. The interval's fine. Although you can see all of these can be updated if you want. And we need to enable it. Up here is the save. And then you can see those were highlighted and now they're not highlighted any longer. So now our little outside air temperature is taking a history. If we did something wrong, if we didn't like it anymore, we can delete it. Now it's gone again. That is how you add, delete, or edit a history extension. It's not so hard. Find your point, open your palette, drag the right type of history in, set it up how you want, and save it. If you totally mess it up, delete it and try again. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.